Hi guys, it's Aurora Colello, and as I promised on my social media, I'm going to be doing a series of very short videos answering all of the questions that I've received since my show on Z Living has been re-airing all over the country. So anytime I get media on my story, I always am flooded with questions. Um, even when there's nothing out of my story, I have a lot of people who have been diagnosed, um, referring other people or friends or family that know about me, telling other people. And so I'm always getting a lot of questions, but this time was just unbelievable. I mean, I literally have hundreds of messages in my inbox and Facebook on my Facebook pages of people wanting information, needing hope, needing direction. And I actually cannot answer everybody individually, unfortunately, and it's just been really heavy on my heart. So I thought this would be a great way to answer all your questions um, and upload them to my YouTube channel so they'll be there for reference, for people to give to other people, and for the people who are gonna be diagnosed in the future because more and more people are diagnosed with this disease every year. People are being diagnosed younger and younger and I have personal views on why that's happening and won't get into right now. I can tell you one thing though, there is a lot of hope when it comes to this disease and you can't stop the progression of this disease in your body. I don't care what your doctors are telling you. It's a bunch of BS. I had a nurse the other day comment that uh, MS is manageable, but not curable. And I don't believe that. Um, so, you know, my doctor said to me that I would be in a wheelchair by now. I'm not. Um, that I'd be on medications my whole life. I've never been on medications for multiple sclerosis. Um, that I had 10 lesions on my brain that were, and that was just what they, the MRI picked up. Because we all know that what you're seeing on your MRI is just what lit, uh, is lit up at the time of the MRI. But you could have uh, a lot of smaller lesions that aren't being picked up by the particular MRI that you're getting. And they told me that those MRIs would have like babies and grandchildren and great grandchildren. And in my head would just, my brain would just be full of them. And after a year, I was able to heal 10 lesions off my brain. Um, so that is not true. I had lost vision in my eye for 30 days due to optic, optic neuritis, uh, which is inflammation of the optic nerve, a very common symptom in, in MS. Usually it's not as drastic. It's a partial vision loss or blurry vision. They said I would never get my vision back. I can see better than before. The prescription, prescription in my right eye had to be decreased because my prescription went up for my contact lenses because my vision went up. Um, and that I would be, you know, my symptoms would be coming up all the time, that it would just be progressive and incurable. Lies, lies, lies. None of that is true. And I will not accept it as my truth ever in my life. And I'm asking and inviting you guys to do the same. And how that begins is really with a mindset change because if everything starts with a thought. Everything begins with a thought. So if you are that person that's like, well, I'm glad that happened to you you got lucky, or, oh, well, my doctor said, and I just don't know if I'll ever heal. You know what? You probably won't heal. It probably is just happening to me. You have to be open to this journey, and you have to be open to changing everything about yourself, every area of your life, uh, because this isn't just a physical thing. We are not just physical beings. God has made us integrated beings, so we're physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and Working on all those areas of your life is true optimal health and wellness. It's true holistic approach to healing. And that's what I've done and that's what I want to share with you. And so I'm going to be answering two questions every day. For sure, one of them, I'll say two to three depending on like how long they are because I want to keep these videos very short because I know that my attention spans like this big. Oops, my battery's dying. Um, so I don't want to make them too long. Um, but for sure tomorrow, one of them will be, um, on what supplements do I take? And I'm not going to be telling you take the supplements I take because the supplements I might take that are making, helping me, uh, they might make you sick. And so we have to be very careful with that because we're all different. I'm going to tell you how to go about figuring out the whole supplement thing because I've really learned a lot over the last almost 10 years and, um, what I did at the beginning is completely different than what I do now. So I'll share all that with you. And then I'll choose like one or two other questions um, that I, I'll choose from the questions that I've received, okay? So for today, I'm gonna share 
or answer two questions that people have been asking me. And one of them is, how did the show come about? How did this opportunity come about? And the other one is, how can I watch the show? So about four and a half years ago, the producer from E! True Hollywood Stories, the show like no one wants to be featured on because it shows that you've really messed up in life. <laughs> um, that producer came in, but for a different show, not E! True Hollywood Stories. Um, and they came in to film what was going to be at the time, Natural Medicine Saved My Life. That was going to be the name of the show. It later became I Beat the Odds, which is the show that's airing now. And so he came in with his whole crew, uh, light, took over uh, the living room at the house we were living in at the time, and just crazy lighting in there, um, and like cameras that like rolled on this big metal piece all the way across the living room. It was really cool. And they were there all day filming, interviewing my husband and I, and then they hired actors to reenact our story. Now, I have to tell you that when we first saw the episode the, as a family, the first like three or four times, we were like peeing in our pants laughing. There is nothing funny about what happened to me. There is nothing funny about MS. But this was freaking hilarious. And that's because when you see someone portraying you, it's weird. And it's TV. So they made it very dramatic. And the girl was like <gasps> crying. And it was just very... And it just wasn't like that when I got diagnosed. Um, I was by myself when I got diagnosed. I had no idea that they were going to tell me I had this like incurable, progressive, um, neurological brain crazy thing going on. I thought it was like something with my eyes. Okay. So when I went in, I was alone. And I was told all this information by a neurologist. Um, very quick and cold, I might add. Um, and... I was just kind of like shocked and just very matter of fact, like asking a lot of questions. So I was more like, so what's this going to look like for me? Um, so what do you recommend I do? So what have you found that other people, you know, that kind of thing. And I was just like in shock and asking questions. Now, when I got home, I cried for like the next two weeks. Okay. <laughs> but not when I was diagnosed. So, so that was funny just seeing kind of like the drama of it all and, it just shows me like I just spent all day cleaning the house and all, which is not the case. I was a stay-at-home mom at the time, but I was very active, but not physically active. Like I wasn't like a triathlete, you know, running, swimming, biking. I wasn't going to the gym. I, I didn't want to do anything. I was lazy and I just thought I'm skinny, I'm healthy, which is totally false. I was not a healthy person. And so, um, and then my husband is from upstate New York and he's like a total you know, Italian New Yorker, um, and he, he was portrayed as like the total guinea with like the white shirt down to his belly button, kind of like, let me help you with your MS, you know? I was expecting to see like hair and gold chains and just super funny. So when you watch the episode, watch it with funny eyes and then watch it with like serious eyes because it is, it's hilarious, especially if you know us, it's, it's really funny. Um, okay, so... That's how that all came about. And after they did that and put my episode together, it's not just my episode. There's other episodes as well of other people who have beat the odds. So you have people with PTSD and Lyme's and autism and um, lupus and all these things. And, you know, I've always been really attracted and drawn to people who beat the odds, people who are overcomers, people who have gone through tragic, hard things in life and they have dug deep down in and they have overcome. I love those kind of people. And so I love this show because it shows all these people and their stories. And that's the stuff you guys should be watching. That's the stuff that you should be putting here. Motivating, inspiring things that get you off your butt and get you going and get you inspired. And this is good TV. So how can you see the show? So the uh, Varia TV, I'm sorry, Varia TV is another show I did. Um, Sorry, Z Living, Z Living. Z Living is a, um, a show, it's a, a health and wellness show on the cable network. And the show is called I Beat the Odds. So you can look on your local listings and see if that show is airing. Now, my particular episode might be airing. It might, it might be showing another one. I'm not really sure because I think it's just different depending on the area that you're in. But it doesn't matter because we all have one of these or iPads or, you know, whatever, computers. And so you can just um, watch it by following these steps. And unfortunately, I can't just give you a website. You have to follow these steps to, to do it or it won't lead you to the episodes that are um, the I Beat the Odds episode. So 
Um, the first thing you want to do is go to google.com, which we all love. We all know and love. Um, and put in my name, Aurora Colello. It's A-U-R-O-R-A-C-O-L-E-L-L-O. And put in Aurora Colello Z Living, which is one word, capital Z Living. I beat the odds. Okay? And that Google will pick up and you can look through. Um, and you will see that one of those links that they're offering you is Ditto TV, and it's D-I-T-T-O. Now, you can't just go to DittoTV.com and pull this up because they have, like, tons and tons of shows on there. You want to go directly to this. It'll save you time, trust me. Um, and then once you're in Ditto TV through that link, then you'll have to put in a username, put in a passcode. I hate that, but you have to do it. And you um, have to pay. So there's three options. One is a one day access to the channel. Um, I think it's like $4.99. And then there's um, a one month access, which is like $7.99. And then the year I think was like $49. I can't remember exactly. But you guys, I'm my, I'm worth $7.99 a month. I mean, these episodes are more than worth $7.99 a month. Watch them all. Watch mine first. Watch them all. And I know you guys will be inspired. It's really good TV. And let me know what you think of the episodes or if you have any questions. That is the story behind how the show happened. That is how you can see the show. And I'm going to be posting every day two to three questions answered on both Aurora Colello and Aurora Colello Public on my Facebook. I'll be giving little reminders on Instagram and my stories as well that um, I'm doing this so you guys remember to look. And they'll all be uploaded to my YouTube channel so that you guys can um, reference it and look at it and it can be there just um, as a reference point for anyone that needs help. So, you know, even watching these, um, and I'll end with this because I want to keep these short. This was a little longer because it was an introduction, but even just watching the show when I first filmed it, so like four and a half years ago, I'm in my 40-ish ishes. I won't say the exact age. I'll just say I'm in my 40-ish ishes. Um, right now and um, even then I was younger obviously four and a half years younger um, a lot has happened since then but I can honestly tell you as God is my witness that I am healthier today than I was and when that show was filmed over four and a half years ago and I'm not saying that to impress you but to impress upon you that you can reach these levels of health and you can increase your health and well-being you can reach optimal health and wellness and live a holistically healthy lifestyle, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. I am proof of that. And I'm hoping, I'm going to get um, permission, especially from this one woman uh, who is amazing and she's in her 60s and she plays tennis and competes on teams, has had a mess for years, never been on medication. I want to share with you these people during these next videos that I'm going to be doing who are also doing the same thing I'm doing. Maybe they're not triathletes racing half Ironmans in Miami, but they're doing other amazing things. I'm not the only one, guys. I am not the only one. And so I'm here to encourage you and to give you hope that this disease does not have to take over your life. It does not have to end your life. And it is way more than manageable, you guys. You can heal. You can um, you can uh, heal your body from the progression of the disease and so I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys this information and answering the questions that you guys have sent in. Okay, so as we say in Colombia, besos and adios. Ciao. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.